Six environmental groups this week petitioned the federal EPA to step in and address groundwater contamination in Kewanee County. Is this a good idea or a bad idea? Should the state have already done something about this? Yeah, I think that we need to address, I mean, the, the groundwater situation in Kewanee has been a, a crisis for several years. It's, it's been building up and it's, it's reached a crisis point and, and it definitely needs to be addressed. I know that there have been people that, that believe that I, because I'm a large animal veterinarian, I'm going to be siding with the farmers and that, and while I, I certainly, certainly um, want a strong farm econo economy within our district, we can do it, we don't have to, this does not have to be an either or proposition. We can have a far strong farm economy and still have safe groundwater and a clean environment. Um, I have been endorsed by the Wisconsin um, League of Conservation Voters, which is the most respected conservation group within our state, um, and I, I want to work hard to get this done. I think what needs to be done at the state level is that right now the DNR has one set of rules for the entire state of Wisconsin as far as manure handling. We need to divide it up into the, into the various geological regions of the state. Our area here with the karst bedrock is far, far different from the sands where, where it actually provides good filtration. So yes, I think it's good that they stepped in. I, I think that the state, the, the DNR has not, has not really done what they should have done. And I, I think it needs to be, the rules need to be changed as far as how the DNR deals with these things. Joe Majeski, three minutes. Um, yes, Rick, I think I'd agree with uh, quite a bit of what uh, Joel said, and, and particularly that the, uh, the DNR has failed in their responsibility to adequately protect the groundwater in Kiwani County, and this issue has been building for quite some time. This is one of the major issues why I decided to get into this campaign. Sitting in a courtroom back in February in Green Bay, listening to families from the Lincoln Township uh, passionately telling their stories about how they could not drink their water, could not even use their water to wash with and the illnesses that occurred from it. And then listening to the DNR stand up or get up on the witness stand and in front of the judge say that they weren't responsible for groundwater and the state health department saying they weren't responsible for groundwater, obviously someone has clearly dropped the ball because this could have easily, easily been anticipated ahead of time. So I wrote a letter to the other indicating that my position on it was this was really a total failure of state leadership. Not only at the, at the DNR, uh, which has a new head, by the way, uh, but also throughout the state legislature and at the governor level. Uh, we can't allow families in Kiwanee County to experience what they're doing, experiencing and not provide state leadership. And we haven't. We haven't provided any state leadership whatsoever. So unfortunately, this forces the families to petition the EPA. It's a result of a lack of state leadership. Joel, you have 90 seconds to elaborate on your comments or rebut those of your opponent. I guess the only thing that I would add is that I did support the Kiwani clean, uh, groundwater ordinance uh, that came up about a month ago. I think that was a good first step. I think that spreading manure in the wintertime is the most dangerous act in, in contaminating groundwater. So I think that was a very good common sense uh, first step, and I, and I don't think it will create tremendous hardship on, on very many farms at all. Joe, would you care to elaborate on your answers or rebut? Uh, just very quickly, uh, elaborating on my answers, uh, Joel mentioned that he has the support of an environmental conservationist group uh, down in Kiwani County. Um, I have the support of numerous uh, environmental conservation groups, uh, including the Sierra Club, a nationally known club, but more important to me is the support of a number of naturalists and environmentalists around in the First Assembly, the people in the First Assembly. I've been endorsed by Andy Wallander, who is the soil and water conservationist, highly respected down in, in Kiwani County. I've been uh, endorsed by Ed Dorner, uh, who is the county retiring county administrator down in Kiwani County, in addition to a number of local naturalists such as Roy and Charlotte Lucas, Jerry Visti of the Door County Environmental Council. So, Clearly, folks who are concerned about protecting our environment are clearly supporting me.